Guys, this event has just highlighted to the world why you need Bitcoin, why your kids need Bitcoin, and why your granny needs Bitcoin. What's the crack? <laughs> what about that for an intro? Crypto Genius Cine here, it's good to see you. Today, I hope you're having a good day, I hope you're feeling good, because today is a good day. Now, I've been following these events. I wouldn't say I follow it really closely, because uh, I don't watch a whole lot of news, I try to avoid it at the best of times. But uh, it's hard to avoid what's going on over there in, in Canada. And it, it's a huge use case. The world has just been exposed to the reason why Bitcoin. At the minute, we don't understand why Bitcoin. Because we have this stuff, right? This is physical cash. And this is what's called a bearer asset. So see, I've got it in my hand. Let's say my money on Revolut. It's on the screen, okay? But it's not a bearer asset because I can never actually own that. I only get access to that money if Revolut allow me to. So it's not like it's a bearer asset. It's not like I can hold it in my hand like a can of physical cash. Okay? So there's a difference between having bearer asset, okay, and a non-bearer asset. What we've seen with the uh, Canadian truckers, now I don't know what's really going on there. To be honest, when it comes to media news, I know it's manipulated both ways, so it's very hard to tell the truth in anything online. <laughs> As you guys know, when crypto Athenians are always messaging you, and it's not me, by the way, little, uh, little tip, if ever I message you on social media, I'm almost 100% sure it's not me doing it. Make sure you speak to me. Never send me, never send me money. I'll just say that, okay? Because it's not going to me. <laughs> Keep your money, lads. Um, and also, daily exercise. I'm just out for a lovely walk with the dogs. I'm going consulting today. I have to meet a couple of lads uh, up in Swords and uh, talk about crypto pension plans. Um, but, so my daily exercise is done. Where am I going with this rant? you got to do your daily exercise. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Become part of the amazing community, okay? Crypto is in this place where we teach normal people, business people, even financial advisors, how to create crypto pension plans. And <laughs> we do it in a fun way. So, this Canadian trucker protest, what went down is, uh, they're blocking up the place. They're, they're, they're not impressed with the... the the mandatory government medication, I think it is. Um, so they're like, now we're going to block the place. We'll we get to the bottom of this. Um, and so the right to protest, you know, is it right? Is it not right? I, I don't know. I'm not well up on this stuff, but I think you should be able to. If you're not happy with something, well, you should be able to protest. Now, whether you're allowed to block up the place, I don't know. I don't know. It's over my pay grade to think about that stuff. I'll just stick to what I know on Bitcoin, okay? So a GoFundMe was set up. And a lot of money was sent from all over the world for a lot of people who had similar views, views of freedom and, and views of, you know, a, a descent to government overreach and this massive control that we've seen over the last couple of years. Okay. And that's fair enough. But then we've seen because it was sent through fiat rails and fiat, fiat money, when it's the digital version of fiat money, it's not the physical version of the cash. It's not really money that you can own because you, you can only take physical possession out of that money if you are allowed. That's the key difference, okay? If you are allowed. So if your views are in opposition to whoever's in control, well, we see him. The GoFundMe was stopped and the truckers couldn't get access to their funds right or wrong. I'm not here to dispute that. I'm just here to highlight what's happening, okay? So then a big Bitcoin was set up because Bitcoin is permissionless money, okay? So there's no middleman in the middle. This is a euro, okay? I can walk up on the street, I can hand that euro to anyone. What Bitcoin allows us to do and what cryptocurrency allowed us to do and, and changed in our world was allow us, allowed us to do that sort of a transaction in the digital world, okay? So in the digital world, previously what we have to do is we have to go through a middleman. So I have to go through my bank to send the money to you, okay? Or I have to go through PayPal to send the money to you. And if PayPal don't like you, well, they won't let me send the money to you. They might freeze the money. I might even get the money back, okay? Or any sort of an intermediary. Okay, but Bitcoin is peer to peer, so it's like cash. It works like cash in the digital world. Now, you're probably saying, but sure, we don't need cash. I have this stuff, but we're not going to have this stuff forever, lads. <laughs> There's a central bank digital currency. I've been teaching you about them for a year. Okay, China have it. Europe are working on it. America are working on it. So they're inevitable and guaranteed that we will be transitioning to a CBDC, a central bank digital currency. And there'll be a load of amazing things that'll happen with them, like that we'll, able to, we'll be able to get money into the hands of the people who need it in times of a pandemic, and we won't have to waste loads of money giving the people who don't need it, pumping up asset prices and causing massive inflation, what we have now. But they'll also come with um, terms and conditions. And because now you will never be able to hold your money in your hands, this is gone. All your money just sits here. And the only way you can access your money is if you're a good boy <laughs> or girl. All right, 
but you will not be able to have views and opposition to whoever's in power. Me personally, I don't agree with that. I think we need to have the right to be able to protest if, if, if something's wrong and, and fair enough if you're protesting about man stuff, whatever, whatever. But Bitcoin is money that you can own. Bitcoin is money that you can hold. You can hold your Bitcoin in your hand. So when the cash alternative is taken away, what does the world go? We go, well, hold on. For the history of humanity, we've been able to have cash a bearer asset. It's always been a bearer instrument for thousands of years since we've had money. And you're going to take that away from us. And Bitcoin's my only solution. Maybe I'll own a little bit of Bitcoin because I want a little bit of money that I'm in control of and no one can take away from me. And it's my money. All right. So that's what we've seen. We've seen that with the Canadian truck pro protest, they started getting donations in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is peer to peer. Uh, permissionless money. All right. So, but then what we've seen happen this week is now the Canadian government are going to freeze the bank accounts of anyone who was at the, the protest. So they're actually going to turn their money off, which is like, there's thousands and thousands of people there and they're talking about just turning their money off, taking their money. I think that's crazy. If their money's in Bitcoin, that can't happen. It gives them freedom, it gives them protection and it, it means that their money is outside of the system of overreach. Your, your Bitcoin can be put in your head, it can be put on your wallet. I can bury this wallet in the Sahara da Desert. I never have to have it. My wealth can sit there protected for all the time. If I need to extract the Bitcoin from there, I'll go to the Sahara Desert, dig it up if I can find it, and I can take it off it. But I can always send my value and protect my family's wealth and have some of our money, not all of it, but some of our money in a bearer asset that I can take custody of. All right? It's not about that I want to do nefarious things. It's just I believe it's a right that our money, you should be able to bear the asset. You should be able to hold it in your hand. You should have the option to, okay? But that option will be taken away soon. And we've seen in Canada, we see in China, I won't even go what they do with you over there. Like, you can't have dissenting views over there. Beckon for a uh, Jack, Beckon Amazon lad, Jack Mao, is it Jack Mara? Sure, he disappeared for six months, didn't he? <laughs> because he said one bad thing about the government. All right, but that's a dangerous place. And this is a use case to Bitcoin. At the minute, people don't understand it because we have our cash. But in the near future, you know, within five years, we'll probably all be on a CBDC, digital currency, central bank digital currency. It'd be great. You'd be on our phone, you'd be bumping, you'd be clicking, you'd be banging, you'll have a barcode in your fucking arm soon and a chip in your head, who knows? But it'd be easy. But the right to hold your cash will always mean you need permission to access your cash. Bitcoin is permissionless. Okay? It's one of the only assets that you can truly own and no one can take from you because your Bitcoin can be stored in your head. Guys, I hope you have a super day. If you got value from the video, hit the like button. If you're learning a little bit, it's just sort of thought provoking stuff. Um, the Crypto with Dini videos. Remember, if you need help to understand Bitcoin, come to my free Bitcoin basics workshop. It's on Zoom. It's on Thursday. You can get a ticket on www.cryptowithdini.com and I teach you how to set up a Bitcoin and crypto retirement plan. I do it for free. Now, full disclosure, I've paid products. People pay me to consult. I'm going consulting today. But uh, Bitcoin basics, let me teach you the basics about Bitcoin if you don't yet know about it because I believe everyone's going to need to learn about Bitcoin and Bitcoin is going to protect everyone. We have the highest inflation levels. You know I talk about inflation all the time. It's like, why do you keep talking about it? Because it's the highest in my lifetime. I've never seen levels of inflation this high. And it's really going to destroy people's wealth uh, unless they learn how to protect themselves from it. And it's the poor and middle class who don't understand what inflation is and how damaging it is. And from someone who's lived in a mobile home and being really poor and had to think about every single thing I buy, do I buy the cheapest cheap pasta or like what's the biggest, how many pasta things can I get for my money? I understand what it's like to struggle about money and why I'm passionate about sharing and teaching people uh, about Bitcoin. Have a super day. Thanks for being here. If you haven't done your daily exercise, Flex the guns and hit the like button. <laughs> Dinny out.